Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Telegram Wallet. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using Telegram Wallet here? Well, the first thing we need to do here is we need to actually access Telegram Wallet. Well, in this case, for you to access, access it is what we need to do is we need to go to search here and just type in the, the following, which is going to be Wallet. Now from here, look for the official wallet bot here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, it's going to say, or it's going to show you the following information. Now what we need to do is we now need to start using the uh, actual bot. In this case, at the very bottom, you should see the start button. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now in this case, it's now going to start or initiate our wallet here. Now, the first thing you need to do here is make sure to enter. So if you don't see the start button here, make sure to enter the slash start button. Now, in this case, there are going to be a few commands that you could access here on the wallet app here in Telegram. In this case, whenever you uh, type in the forward slash here, you should be able to see the following options or uh, basically uh, commands for the wallet pod. Now we have menu and we also have wallet. In this case, let's go ahead and go to menu first. Let's go ahead and press enter. Now, in this case, in the menu section, you could buy, send, exchange crypto in this section here. Now you could also access the following option, which is my wallet, P2P market. You also have settings and support. Now, if you choose wallet here, it should redirect you to your wallet, which should also show you how much you actually have on your wallet. So that includes either Bitcoin, Toncoin, USDT, and NOT. Now, in this case, you should indicate how much you have right now and also the deposit, withdraw, and buy crypto, a crypto with blank card and exchange options here. Now, each of the following uh, options here that you see have their own uses. Now, if you want to actually add a crypto into your account, you can go and choose deposit. Now, deposit here would actually give you the option to uh, add crypto into your account. So first is first going to say warning, you are about to use a mini app operated by independent party not affiliated with Telegram. So you, oh, you must agree to the terms of use here. In this case is going to agree to this one, click on OK. Now, in this case, it's going to boot up a wallet here. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we just need to click on a let's go. And from here, you should be able to see a mini pop up of the wallet app. In this case, again, if you want to add crypto into your account, you go and click on add crypto here. Now you have the following options to add crypto into your account. Now in this case, you can actually buy with your bank card if you want to. You also have P2P market, which in this case, you, you will be buying without intermediaries. You also have external wallet. Now, each of these, again, have their own use. So bank card here, you'll be able to use your card to pay or buy crypto. Now, P2P market, you'll be buying from different users, but you need to have USDT on your account first before you, you'll be able to do that. Now, you also have the option to receive crypto from an external wallet. Now, in this case, if you choose bank card here, you'll have the option which asset you want to buy. So for example, maybe I want to say I want to buy USDT here. In this case, you need to select your currency. So for example, I'm going to use AUD here as a means of payment. And we now need to indicate how, how much we want to buy in USDT. In this case, you could also change the currency again if you want to by clicking on the arrows here. Now, in this case, once you've done that, you should be able to indicate how much you want to buy here. So you have the 100, 300, 600 USDT op options here. In this case, once you've done that, go ahead and click on buy and continue. And from here, what we need to do is we now need to verify ourselves first. So there's going to be a quick verification here. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And from here, just complete the whole process of verifying yourself. So that includes entering your name, your mobile number, and verifying a few things here. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Now, once you've verified yourself, you should be able to see the uh, previous window again. Let's go and click on buy USDT here. And from here, you'll be redirected to a, another uh, platform, which in this case, you just need to provide some information about yourself and your card details in order for you to complete your transaction. Now, once you've completed that, you should be able to start receiving your crypto. Now, in this case, what are the other things that we can do here as well? So we also have external wallet. Now, external wallet means that you'll be sending from another wallet, like for example, Binance. For example, I wanted to receive USDT here. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And we now need to choose our network. Now, choosing the correct network here is really important because if you don't choose the correct network here, you will lose the possibility of actually receiving your crypto and you will never be able to recover it. 
Now, in this case, make sure to uh, select the correct network here. So, for example, if you're sending from an external wallet, make sure that they're using the same network that you're using as well. So, for example, if you're using TRC20 here or Tron, make sure to, to mention them that or mention to them that you're using the Tron network here or TRC20 so that you'll be able to receive your crypto. In this case, you go ahead and click on continue here. And from here, you should be able to see this pop up here. Let's go ahead and close this one. And you should be able to see your address here. And if you want to receive crypto, they just need to scan the QR code or basically add the following address here. In this case, you go and click on copy address here and just basically make T transact yourself from the other platform like Binance. Now, in this case, uh, what are the other things that we could do here? So in this case, let's go ahead and go back to the previous window here. So let's go ahead and type in menu again. And from here, you should be able to see my wallet again. So in case before we go back to wallet here, we also have settings here. So if you want to change a few things regarding your wallet, so in this case, uh, we have the following options. Like for example, uh, changing your passcode, identification level, your wallet language here, default currency, always expand assets if you want to, if you want to contact support, and FAQs and use, and if you want to read the user agreement again, this is where you'll be able to see it. Now in this case, if you choose support here, you'll be able to request support uh, from them. So let's just go back into wallet here. We also have P2P market. Again, if you want to buy from a different users like what, what I shown you before, uh, you will be able to do this as well in here. But yeah, so you could be you should be able to uh, buy and sell on the same uh, platform itself. So in this case, let's go ahead and go back here since we want to discuss a lot as much as we can in this video. Let's go back into wallet here. So in our wallet, if you want to withdraw crypto from your account, like for example, you already have like for example, 50 USDT or 1000 USDT, or uh, you have a significant number of Bitcoin and you want to withdraw it to a different wallet, well, you could just choose the withdraw option here. Now, once you choose it, it's going to open up with the following option here, which in this case, you have the option to choose well, how to send crypto. You could send this to another ex, uh, external wallet or from or to your Telegram contract contact. For example, if you want to send uh, crypto to your friend in Telegram, you could choose this option here. But if you want to choose external wallet, you can go and choose this one. And from here, choose the crypto you want to send. So for example, we have USDT here. So go and choose that, hit and continue. And from here, we now need to choose the network itself. In this case, make sure to either choose TON or TRC20. And they also have the, the uh, at the very bottom here, they also have the transaction fee or the gas fee. So make sure to check that as well and take on account, uh, take that in account whenever you're making transactions just to make sure that you have enough funds in your account. But yeah, so it's going to indicate the network and enter the address or a name here or add the USD address here. Just click on paste. And once you've added those details, you should be able to make your transaction or transfer your uh, crypto from your wallet to another exchange or to another wallet outside of the wallet app here in Telegram. So let's go ahead and go back as well here. And yeah. So in this case, there are going to be a few things that you could also access here. Like for example, you also have the exchange. Yeah, from the name itself, exchange allows you to actually exchange your crypto to another type of crypto. Like for example, if you already have, like for example, let's just click on send here. I don't, so for example, you have, let's go add a crypto here, bank card. So this is this is example, like for example, you already have USDT on your account and you want to convert your USDT into not coin or ton coin. Well, through exchange, you'll be able to exchange your USDT to ton coin or not coin on the on, on specific values. So the values are on crypto is actually a volatile, so it might uh, differ every time you make an exchange. But again, you could exchange your USDT or your dollars here into ton coin or not coin or Bitcoin. So yeah, so from name itself, you're exchanging your crypto to another one. But yeah, so those are the basics that you need to know here on uh, Telegram Wallet. So there are actually there's going to be a lot of things that you could access here like for example transaction history and a lot more you also have the wallet earn here if you want to start earning so for example claim daily rewards from a 30 million equivalent price pool so they have a lot of things that, that you could do here but in this case those are the basics that you need to know here for you to start using telegram wallet and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video